Madison County, Arkansas. For the last five months, Madison County investigators have been searching for Jason Lurrell. The sources in this account is through various Fox News reports, local news, FBI reports, and family. It was Jason and I who grew up together. His laugh, it doesn't matter if you're angry, his laugh will make you laugh. It's very hard for me to imagine because of how kind he is to people that somebody would potentially do something to him, said Wood, his sister. Wood and her brother, Laurel, haven't spoken to each other since late January. The last text message that I received from him, she said, I almost wondered if they even came from Jason. Laurel hasn't been seen or heard from since. There are so many police people who have given up with hope, Wood said. I don't know what my life is going to look like without Jason. Madison County Sheriff's Deputy Stephen Brown is tasked with retracing Laurel's last steps. He says Laurel's belongings have been found all over Northwest Arkansas, including keys, a car, and a motorcycle. We had to go back and figure out who he knew and who knew him and go from there and see what they know. The car was found parked outside the Northwest Arkansas Mall in Fayetteville. Police searched in it early in February. There were things of evidentiary interest that were found, Brown said. Some of those things were sent to the Arkansas State Crime Lab and weren't were awaiting results on some of those things. Wood and her family stood just feet away, watching the search unfold, holding her breath. What if our brother is in the trunk of his car? Laurel's motorcycle was parked outside of an acquaintance's house near Clifty in Madison County. My brother would say that they were friends. Wood said, how good of friends. I don't know if that's really easy to determine. Jason's acquaintances that he was last believed to be with, it's a tight circle of people, but they have a wide footprint. Wood said that Laurel badly battled drug addiction. She and her son, Brandon, Jason's nephew feared the relapse around the time he disappeared. Throughout the month of January, he came upon some very dark times, and unfortunately, I think he turned back to some things that were in Madison County, Brennan said. Some people he perhaps maybe he shouldn't have been around. Wood turned to her social media for help, a page to spread awareness about her brother's disappearance quickly attracted thousands of followers and several theories about what may have happened. The stories that I've heard from so many different people about my brother's disappearance have been so off the wall. They're just crazy. They do not make any sense. We have a lot of information to go through, Brown said. The sheriff's office says one of Jason's friends reported he was last seen walking down a road in the Shannon Corner area in Huntsville. Brown says their focus is on rural northwest Madison County and the most recent search was just a few weeks ago. In a big city, you have a lot of people, typically, Brown said, a lot of people you have, a lot of eyes. A lot of eyes, you get more information. 
out here in the country, it's not that like that. As the investigation continues, Wood and her family are once again left holding their breath. We don't know whether it's time to mourn or if we should have hope that he's going to come back. He's a great brother, a great father. He deserves to be found. The sheriff's office says it has identified several persons of interest. It's also still waiting for results from the crime lab, which investigators say could take years. Laurel was last seen between the area of Caps Ranch Road in Benton County and County Road 1101 in Madison County on January 25th. His belongings were found in Fayetteville, Benton County, Madison County, and Eagle Rock, Missouri. When Laurel disappeared, he was living with his sister, Sarah Wood. She's still in disbelief that he hasn't been found. Mark Grimm with the Fayetteville FBI is hoping offering a financial incentive will give people who hesitate to come forward. He said the FBI usually gets a lot of information when big reports are on the table. It becomes a matter of prioritizing and going through the information that does come in to try and determine what leads might be useful in the investigation. He said even small pieces of information together could lead investigators to find out what happened to Laurel. Meanwhile, Wood can only speculate on what may have happened to her brother, but she's hoping the reward will shed some light on Laurel's whereabouts. If you have any information on what happened to Laurel or where he might be, contact the FBI in Little Rock at 501-221-9100 or your local FBI office. Wood is offering $10,000 reward for anyone who finds her brother. Jason was born 3-17-1980 He's five foot eight, 160 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes. He has a tattoo on his right upper arm that says cross 111 one, and one on his calf right of a iron cross. This is kind of an update um, from the FBI. The FBI has now issued $30,000 for information leading to the location and recovery of Jason Laurel. The FBI usually gets a lot of information when big uh, rewards are out there. The FBI says Jason was last seen between the areas of Camp Ranch Road, Benton County, Arkansas, um, I think it's already gone through that after Laurel's disappearance and some of his belongings were recovered by law enforcement.